Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic In this module, you will learn about Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic We know that if a number completely divides another number, it is said to be that number's factor. Since 5 completely divides 15, we can say 5 is a factor of 15. In fact, 15 has 4 factors. 1, 3, 5 and 15. Whereas 3 has exactly 2 factors, 1 and 3 itself. And 1 has only 1 factor, that is 1 itself. We also know that numbers that have exactly two factors, that is one and itself, are called prime numbers. Let's look at first ten numbers. One is neither prime nor composite, so we leave it. As we have seen, three has two factors, one and three itself. Three is a prime number. Same goes for two, five and seven. Numbers other than 1 which are not prime numbers are composite numbers. And all composite numbers can be written as product of prime numbers. For example, 6 can be written as 2 into 3, 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2, 9 can be written as 3 into 3, 10 can be written as 2 into 5. Thus we can say prime numbers are building blocks of composite numbers. The process of writing prime factors of a number is called prime factorization. As to write a number as the product of its prime factors, we must find the prime factors of that number. Let's take an example. Can you write the prime factors of 1771? In previous grades, we learned to find prime factors. By following same method, prime factors of 1771 can be written as 1771 is equal to 7 into 11 into 23. Have you noticed anything here? We have written 1771 as 7 into 11 into 23. As by commutative law of multiplication, by changing order of product doesn't change the result. This means we can write it as 7 into 23 into 11 or 11 into 23 into 7 or 11 into 7 into 23 or 23 into 7 into 11 or 23 into 11 into 7. These products of prime numbers represent the same number that is 1771. This means this product is unique. This is what the fundamental theorem of arithmetic says. Every composite number can be written as a product of primes and this product is unique except for the order of its factors. Let's take some more examples. Prime factors of 660 are 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 11. Prime factors of 26,000 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 13. Have you noticed in prime factors of 660, 2 is repeating twice and in prime factors of 26,000, 2 is repeating 4 times and 5 is repeating thrice as we can also write product of repeating numbers as powers Thus, factors can be written as shown here. We also use prime factorization to find HCF and LCM. Let's recall some. Find the HCF and LCM of 26 and 91. The prime factorization of 26 and 91 is as follows. 26 is equal to 2 into 13. 91 is equal to 7 into 13. Here, common factor of 26 and 91 is 13 only with least power 1 and greatest power of all the prime factors is 1 as HCF is the product of least powers with each common prime factor therefore HCF of 26 and 91 is 13 and LCM is the product of greatest powers of each prime factor appearing in the numbers 
Therefore, LCM of 26 and 91 is 2 into 7 into 13 is equal to 182. Have you noticed the product of HCF and LCM of 26 and 91 is 13 into 2 into 7 into 13? And that is nothing but the product of 26 and 91. Thus, for any two positive integers A and B, product of HCF and LCM of A and B is equal to product of A and B. Let's recap. Fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Every composite number can be written as a product of primes and this product is unique except for the order of its factors. For any two positive integers A and B, product of HCF and LCM of A and B is equal to product of A and B.